one and let's get uh, at a distance my salt really compact today we're changing the abacus 8r for an orisic let's go to the back there um yep keep that playing up i haven't got any more spares on these things so orisic it is that are old enough we'll see I've got one two three detectors here on single wires Zone 1, Zone 2, and Zone 5. Oh, I thought this was an Abacus 80, didn't it? An Abacus 6. Hmm. Right, so we got it. It's wired on individual zones, individual wires. So obviously, this passage won't work with any others. Checking, make sure I have got enough cables going to each detector. So, what I'm doing really is following this one back. That one goes onto the landing, and there's the spares out, the spare wires. Look at that one, that's the spare wires. And if I go to this one, this one, this one, sorry, this one here, this one here. That's all spare cables going back to those three zones. So I've got plenty of wires to work with. Eight core as well. <coughs> oh. I think it'll all come down in one because it's obviously pretty nice because I'm thinking they, these will come down on their own anyway. No tape on this one because it's all labelled up anyway. Um, I'm just going to find my narrow 
fill the pen. Because I use my existing that's number one. Number two. Number five. Right. Uh Some of these are my old colours, so I'm just going to use my camera on my phone because I need instant recovery with my food because the colours are different to what I use now. I'm going to pause you. Yeah. Right, I'm back. I'm just going to show you what I've done. Right, so I'm filling the keypad up. The base drilled. Two acre, um, one acre per minute. We only need four of them. Um, let's explain why. Only for the people that don't know. Um, <laughs> look at this. So, on the back of the abacus control panel, you'll see there's eight terminals, but only six of these are used for the keypad. Now, so all the panels, some all the Scantronic panels, I have a 12 core going to the keypad. So on the newer panels, you'll find that it's, it's all, all, either RS485 or some derivative of a data in. Anyway. Right, so I've put the bell in. I'll link out these, they're not used anyway, linked about. The program is normally um, closed. Um, cut them all the same blend. Yeah, I'll put that speaker back in. Not one done, on the over here. Yep, yeah. literally they go on. Oh, <laughs> 
<coughs> Got a bit of dust in my throat now. I just want to show you um, about the engineer code on these panels. So, if my engineer code, it's still 1234 at the moment. It's set as engineer code anyway. 1234. But as you notice, one except 1234, even though that's the engineer code. It works on a random rolling code so you must have the software on your phone to um, have the anti-code that you put into your system and this system so inside this panel i put a code of the day um, in there so as long as the clock's right on that day whatever it will generate the code for that day so I know today, and this will only ever happen until 12 o'clock tonight. Straight into engineer. It's not my engineer code. It's a random code. It's a bit, it's a bit like your, your bank card and you, you know, you do a brief for your bank. You put your cup, you put your card in the slot. Um, on your card reader you put your unique code in it generates a code an anti-code using that information that's on your card only um, you verified it with your chip and pin number um, obviously your bankers card is a bit more secure than this but uh, there's no way you'll get into that not, not you would have to completely downpower it I'm totally reprogram it to go. I'm just going to the door because I saw something come across the front.